finally, hey! finally, we can talk <laughs> about this stuff that we've been Woo! bursting at the seams oh, yeah. to chat about. Um, specifically, uh, we're going to focus on two phones, OK? Uh, and maybe the lion's share of what we're about to say is about the Mate 20 Pro. Yeah. But before we do that, I need to tell all of you that we're coming live from the XL in the heart of London Docklands. It's a fantastic location. We've just seen a brilliant keynote, don't you think? And you're about to have it all dissected and hopefully made more meaningful by three stellar social media influencers um, who all of us uh, should be following, most of us already are, uh, people that we like to like. And so the first question I'm going to ask you is, do you like what you saw this afternoon? Ollie? I loved it. Loved it. Really? That's all I'm going to say. Loved it. Wow, that is quite yeah. an enthusiastic response. It was insane. I thought, honestly, I thought it was unbelievable. I was... I was in my seat just so excited. I felt like a little kid. And he's not being sarcastic. I'm That's not, important I'm actually thing. not. I'm, I'm going to come back to you. Amanda, instant reaction to what you've just seen. I was actually just mind blown. Like, just so many incredible new features available that I just didn't think were possible. Um, so to see that, I'm just so, so excited to finally be able to use this phone. It's incredible. Okay, cool. <laughs> uh, and Mike. Absolutely amazing. Really? I love, I love Richard. I think he's such a cool and humble guy, and his presentation was amazing. He is a cool guy, and I, really cool I mean, I liked, I liked the comparison to other handsets. I think there's some really interesting stuff, where, stuff there. And the other thing that I was excited about was some of the world's firsts. Yeah, a so lot of them. Let's, should we dissect some of those first, yeah. right? Yeah, um, good. Yeah, so which of the world's first was your favourite? Shall I just remind you of those? Yeah. Um, reverse wireless charging. That was amazing. So the, Ac that was actually like, incredible. If I can just hold you back <laughs> in the stampede. So just in case you didn't see that or if you need to be reminded of it, what we saw, and it was the one thing that I think got the biggest reaction in the hall. Yeah, yeah. everyone was like cheering. It was a Mate 20 or a Mate 20 Pro. I don't know which one it was in the picture. Uh, being held over another phone and it was charging yeah. the other phone wirelessly. Man. That is nuts, isn't that it? Is now, what, what do you think to that? It is incredible. Like, it is something I've been wanting for so, so long. I'm like, why can't they just make, you know, phones charge each other, you know, when your friend or your partner's got a flat device? How easy would it be to put them together? And you think it's just like magic, and they've actually created it. I've so often got like 80% charge on my uh, tablet and like 3% charge on my phone. So, this is something. Uh, like a lot of the innovations that Huawei are famous for bringing to the market, something that I think has real legs and that we're going oh, to massive. see develop. Yeah. But, but right yeah. now, it's, it's, it's phone to phone, certainly in that demonstration. Yeah. Uh, what, what about design, Mike? Because I, that's your thing. I, you are a I, dapper I, chap. I personally love like, a very slick phone. Yeah. And I think I love the fact that the camera is actually in the middle here. And it's beautiful. I mean, I personally love like all like the black color phones. But uh, I got the experience with the um, Twilight one. The emerald, oh, green. Yeah. emerald green, Ooh, emerald green, twilight. twilight. Oh yeah, this is this is a stunning. I love yeah. this. And this is it kind amazing. of, I mean, you're wearing black, so it's it's uh, it's a darker hue. I'm yeah. guessing if you had a white '80s wham suit on <laughs> with espadrilles, that, 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 that might you. actually, yeah, that you this might actually, because it reflects yeah. colours, doesn't it? Yeah, yeah. exactly. No, I, I love it. I think the design is honestly stunning. Like it's it, it's it's really nice to hold in your hands as well. Like the curved sides, it fits in amazingly. They have this new texture on the backing, which doesn't make it slide as how it would normally do if it was just glass. Uh, I think they've done an amazing job with the design. Okay, really so good. on the Pro, on the Mate 20 Pro, uh, three cameras. Um, yeah. We've got a 40 megapixel ultra wide angle. I know you're going to talk about that. Yeah. A 20 megapixel and an 8 megapixel. Yeah. Um, some really sophisticated. Uh, Technology that unlocks the phone uh, much, much quicker than Finger previous handsets. Like anywhere on the screen. Screen yeah. fingerprint. Yeah. Yeah, that's, that's really cool. That's right. not just fingerprint. Screen so, fingerprint. Yeah, you have to have your finger in the right place. Yeah. Is there a zone or a hot spot? Or what, I think there's a pretty big zone. Well, so, like, you could just like hold that. it open. Boom! Yeah. Can yes. you see that? I'm going to do one more demonstration, okay? Finger, boom. You like and that. how quick was that? So quick. Oh, yeah. So I love that. I love that. <laughs> okay, no, so another another feature I was briefly mentioned, but I really want your reaction because all of you film um, uh, and photograph in your various lives, your digital lives. Yeah. Um, what about this uh, ultra wide angle lens? I think that's amazing. I mean, Richard like did the presentation about like this like ceiling was like like with a normal phone you couldn't like get that, but with this phone like you can see the whole white thing, yeah. and I think that's the best. I mean, I, 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 I think there's so many, so many different ways that you can use it, and I think there's there's a lot of a lot of times I'm actually using other cameras to try and capture that wide-angle perspective. But now I've 
I've, I've got the thing in my hand. Like, I don't need any other cameras. I can just literally use this. Now, what are they called? The cinema modes. You know, that, that, there's a cinema mode where it's enhanced by AI. I particularly liked that. In the demonstration, they showed. I think it was someone dancing with a very brightly coloured dress yeah. on, and the back, the background was um, black, black and white. And, white. Now, yeah. and what, what wasn't made clear to me, at least, I was at the back. So I don't know if I if I misheard it. But was that's happening in real time. Yeah. So that's not an after effect no. that you put on in post. This is happening in real time. It's a mode on the phone. And there's, some, there's a really lovely, super wide kind of almost IMAX-y, yeah. what is it, 21 by 9? Was it, I yeah. can't yeah. remember yeah. the exact yeah. Yeah. dimensions. So some really interesting excuses just to sort of um, enhance your social media to inspire you. Maybe you can you be see, unique. Yeah. You can do things that other people aren't doing. So it's Because it's quite, a, it's quite a job, isn't it? Yeah. Just thinking up ways of communicating with an audience, whether it's your family back at home or whether you're professional social media uh, uh, people yeah. like yourselves. It's quite tricky to constantly come up with different ideas. Uh, and, and so th that sort of rich feature set does definitely lead to new creations. Yeah. Definitely. They have, a, they have an amazing uh, background blur as well, which yep. works the same way with the uh, AI. So if you're focusing on someone's face and the background would be completely blurred and that's all happening in real time as well. Amanda, so, so as a as a businessman, a businesswoman, a businessman, a businesswoman, maybe you're both. <laughs> Depends whether you're Why wearing not? a suit or not. <laughs> yeah. um, you know, you're a, you're all over the world. You're across all kinds of different projects, app development. You hold sort of digital profile. Um, what about the uh, the mobile office capability of this handset? I was so so excited about this. Um, you know, having a business, having an app. I have a lot of customers, and like having to deal with you know problems that might be having emails coming through. You know, I've got my email screen up and then I can also have our customer profile so they could have written me an email mm -hmm. um, and I need to go into their profile and fix something and I don't need to you know come out of that screen go back into another screen then go back into the screen I was just in it's so much quicker and so much easier just to be able to do two things at once multitasking so it's amazing I want to ask um, each of you you guys um, something specific to the kind of pro level gear that you're more used to use okay so i know both of you make great use out of high-end digital slr yeah. cameras yeah. Uh, for, for video and both for stills are we closing that gap does does the um i'll go to you first mike um does either of these handsets do they close that gap more significantly than than possibly we've seen in other handsets i think totally yeah totally i mean like i especially love the camera i think it's the best the highest function in this phone and to have something that small like that could do like like a pro camera i think that's incredible for me and that made my life way easier yeah. so, so i love the levitation stuff yeah. you do on instagram you've got to check out mike's instagram if you don't know already <laughs> it's so cool and so unique and so different thank you in what way would that handset enable you to do your signature levitation do you know the the, the best shots? part of this phone because it has 40 megapixels right um it, it can shoot in a low light Right. So that's actually really good, and it's really good with motion photos, with like moving photos, and especially when you're in a situation where you need to manually kind of like do the settings, you can actually do the ISO, the exposure. But like the best thing is like it can recognize just the scene. So I, I was back there and I was shooting the scene, and it, it literally is that here scene mode. Like yeah. it reaches it stage or no, stage. No, yeah, yeah, yeah. no. stage. Actual stage. Well, like yeah. When you point it at the yeah, stage, yeah, yeah. you point at the stage, and the yeah. mode is says stage mode or something. Like so that. So how incredible is that? I mean, I'm, I'm a P20 Pro owner. And I was, it's partly why I was invited to do this, because I, I was blown away by it and shouted about it on social media, and they got in touch and said, why don't you come and see, see the new phone that we've got? Um, and I've stood on a beach, and, I've, and, I, and it's come up with a beach, and I've stood next to greenery, and it's adjusted the hue of the green and so on. Um, but, I, I, again, I don't know the, the actual numbers, but I know that we have an exponential uh, increase in terms of the amounts of scenes that it's recognising. Yeah, it's like thousands my P20 Pro, now, amazing. Yeah, yeah. yeah, I mean, it wouldn't... It's over 4,000, I think. Yeah. Yeah. It's yeah. Massive. I mean, I was, I was, look, I was copiously making notes <laughs> during that, so that I knew what to ask you about. Uh, is it? I think it's over 4,000. Yeah. So, yeah. Uh, yeah. And, so this is the AI, and the way that they the way that this is happening, if I'm not incorrect, is, is it's down to the not not the single, but the dual MPU, which is neural processing unit. Yeah. I'm going to you on this because you're my you're the you're the tech muse. Yes. Uh, yes. I mean. It's got an incredible processing power, and uh, one of the new features as well, it can also go over 100,000 ISO as well, um, which is incredible. Um, so, as you said, like low level, low light photos, 
for me, it's another thing with my DSLR. I'm always trying to get low level. And this is just absolutely incredible. It also has a night mode as well. And it merges up to 10 images together to create that just optimum scene. And also with HDR as well. It's yeah. just, it is really good. <laughs> it's awesome because if, like for example, I work with my partner who's a photographer. So he can use the phone and use the settings that he wants to and adjust normal camera settings. Whereas if I grab the phone, you know, I'm not a photographer. I take photos of my dogs. I can just point and shoot and it'll know what I'm, you know, pointing at and create a beautiful image. It's just awesome. There was another feature um, that we were introduced to yesterday because we were fortunate enough to have a briefing and then unfortunate enough to not be able to talk about it <laughs> to anyone um, <laughs> until now, which is why yeah. we're so excited when, when the camera went live. Um, and that is, so, so the 960 frames per second, which is one of the nuts slow-mo features that um, uh, previous... Uh, good at it. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I yeah. gave it a demonstration. It's he really threw the yeah. pen, slow-moed the pen. It was but awesome. the issue, <laughs> the issue I, I've had with it on the P20 Pro, with my boy trying to do an ollie and trying to capture him doing an ollie, he's only 11 years old, so it needs a big deal to him that he gets to demonstrate that he can actually do it to his friends at school, right? Is I, I couldn't actually trigger it at the right point. It's difficult, isn't it? So you that, have so to get it just right. Until now because there is an auto mode. Could you tell us a little bit about that, Pat? Yes, yeah, so the auto mode has, it's a, it's a square in the middle of the frame, and when motion moves into that square, it will automatically start recording. So it captures literally the perfect timing when you need to capture motion. So you don't have to worry about when you're gonna press it. It literally does it for you instantly, and it always gets it right. So, so as long as the subject is is, um, is moving not, in the or, or, or is there a, there a dis distinct difference in the movement, yeah. then it will trigger that mode. Yeah. Because the problem is, we're getting to this point where technology is progressing, as it does, exponentially, Moore's Law and all of that, um, at a rate where things like that, 960 frames per second, is that so fast, or slow, depending on how you look at it, yeah. that we actually can't process it as human beings. And no. so I'm triggering the event way too soon it was only a, obviously a, a, so much RAM. And the, the, Small the, gap to capture. Yeah, even if it is the new um, uh, DDR4X RAM, which is what we're talking about on this phone, yeah. there's only so much RAM. So, so it captures a, a, a small section. Mm. And so timing it is really, really critical. And, and the thing with this phone is, this is quite a novel way of enabling me to have some sense of control uh, in my attempt to try and get the Ollie, yeah. as yeah. mentioned. Okay, I want to talk about the macro function. Who wants to, who wants to pitch in about that? The, the super close. I will, I will, you Tell want to or you, you start, you start, right. we'll yeah, continue. Right. <laughs> 2.5 centimeters away from a subject, you can take a picture with the super macro, and the results of it are honestly insane. I'm a big fan of macro and like really close up shots, getting that real sharp, crisp detail. And this function is honestly, it blew me away. I didn't know that you could have a have, have a phone yeah. so close to something and still capture so much detail. Yeah, so, incredible. Yeah. What, what, what would you use it for? I actually, <laughs> this is so funny, but I have two sausage dogs, right? They have their own, <laughs> <laughs> they have their own Instagram account. Oh, and, wow. Um, one of the accounts What's the account? West Coast Weenies. Oh, my way, that's the best. So make sure you follow them. <laughs> yeah, I'm following them. Yeah. <laughs> So um, there's an account that they follow called Boop My Nose, and it's an account full of dogs, and you have to take a photo of your dog really, really close, like oh, to their nose, oh, and wow. you're supposed to double click to like it and boop their nose. So this feature oh. is amazing because I can get really, really close to them, and it's not going to blur. It's going to be amazingly crisp and clear. Do they still so. look cute? Oh, they always look oh. cute, <laughs> but they look even better with this yeah. camera. Oh. I'm personally, I'm, I'm, I think it's going to be good for me to use it for like when I'm working with a brand, especially I'm, I don't know, like let's say a fashion brand when they yeah. want to feature like the specific fabric and you can actually zoom in so close so that you can close. actually see the, all the tweet and all the details. I think that's, that's really, a really nice. Yeah, nice point. I think that's perfect. Uh, so I wanted to get back to the charging because there were some big stats up there. I don't know if any of you have got a photographic memory and you can actually remember how much quicker the charging is on this phone than anything else in the market. You mentioned like few seconds, like 5%, right? Is that yeah. three seconds? I think you said that. I think you said 30 seconds, seconds 1%. Yeah, 30 seconds, 1%. 30 seconds, 1%. 30 seconds, 1%. And in 30 minutes, you get a 70% 70 charge, Oh God, I mean, incredible. you're paying attention, I, was, I like yes, that. I'm a good student. <laughs> yeah, I like that. Yeah. So, so, so what does that mean in real terms? Amazing. I think that's unbelievable. I mean, there's so many times, I, I've, I've had times before where I've had to rush out for something and my phone's been on like really low battery and I'm like, oh no, 
I'm, I'm literally going to be struggling. I know what I'm going to do. I'm going to have to put it on low power mode. I'm going to have like 5%. I'm going to be stressing about having such a low power on my phone. Yeah. But I mean, 30 minutes, like, to charge 70% is just huge. So that's then, so quick. The best yeah. thing is, is that when it actually is charged, it lasts ages. Like, I'm one of those people who uses their phone all the time. I do business from it, social, everything. and. You know, you don't want to get to three o'clock in the afternoon and you're like, oh my gosh, I need to charge my phone because I want to go out tonight and take photos. This yeah. phone lasts two, three I've been days. Using for like six yeah. hours or more and I still have like almost 90%. 90%, you're not, yeah. I've, I've been using it all morning, taking photos, watching videos, and I'm on 78% still. I mean. Yeah. <laughs> so it just lasts, okay, so lasts Matt, forever. Matt, so the interesting thing here is that we, so we were in a briefing yesterday, right? We signed documents, closed doors session, right? No outgoing social media. Nope. Okay. We weren't even allowed to remember stuff. That's how secret it was. <laughs> um, and, you know, it, it's really interesting to see from inside Huawei the lengths they go to to innovate. When I talked to some uh, of the execs earlier, okay, at the start of this live stream, about, I'm guessing, two hours ago now, and it was really interesting because he said that several of the features that they've launched today have been in development for several years and the small things that you need to pay attention to um, in terms of charging in order to do those mad charging feats they've had to redesign the cable so the the top end of charging will charge quickly with a normal cable but if you use the Huawei design cable uh, specifically you can get that 70% in, th in 30 minutes yeah. um, and also they also had to take it to a special laboratory which I think was in Germany wasn't it? Yeah, yeah. In Germany. To get it verified because when you're putting that amount of electricity those, those electrons are flowing at such a rate it does have safety challenges and so they had to get this to the creme they de la creme they were gold heating standard. heating it and yeah. then charging it at the same time and it passed that like yeah. it's incredible. It's, it's yeah. fascinating isn't it? Yeah. So some other stuff really getting under the bon bonnet we've only got about five minutes to go so don't, don't go into too much detail already because you're going to get your tech teeth around this I know it uh, in terms of data throughput uh, in terms of 4.5 G yeah on the way to 5G uh, and Wi-Fi tell us a little bit about that so Wi-Fi speeds I'm testing him now 1.7 gigabytes which is massive capability and then also over 3G and also 4.5 G um, it's 1.4 gig which is it's ginormous, I mean, especially when we're dealing with big files, whether it's videos or it's photos, and we're having to deal, having that capacity to be able to reach you that know what? speed. Can I just jump in? I, I, I just want to put this scenario to you because I personally hate the fact that every time I sit in a cafe or go to a hotel, I have to give my life details in order to use Wi Fi, right? So I found myself increasingly using my phone, which happens to be a Huawei P20 Pro, which I bought myself, so you know, there you go. <laughs> Um, as a Wi-Fi hotspot, uh, because my 4G data connection has now got to the point where the data throughput is good enough for me to do just about any task I need to do, whether it be business, um, you know, wherever I happen to be, gaming or whatever it be, or, or uploading YouTube, Streaming, downloading YouTube. Yeah. yeah. So, so this, the fact that this phone can do 4.5G, I was ready to do it. Rather, the, the chipset can. To be just going to be technically correct there, the chipset's ready yeah. to do it, but not the phone just yet. Yeah. That's a big deal, isn't it? It is. A big deal. Yeah. I, think, I think it just goes to show how much we've got to look forward to in yeah. the future. I think they're hard. ready for the future, yeah. like you can already tell. So. Well, you're very, very kindly, very dutifully answered all of my questions. We've got, I'm guessing, two minutes left. Someone's going to wave at me. Do you want to just sum up each with sort of 30 seconds of what, what, you know, your, your final reaction to, the, to today's launch? Mike? Well, there's nothing else I can say that I actually really, I already love the phone. I mean, I love the camera. I think it's the function that I'm, that I'm going to use the most my daily life. Yeah. It definitely exceeded my expectations. I heard so many amazing things and to finally be able to use all these amazing features, it's, and it's beautiful. Like it's functional yeah. and it's beautiful. It's, really so nice it's, it's great. Uh, for me, I mean, they've, they've done things that I always thought about, but never actually thought was possible. Well, like, the about stuff. <laughs> like the reverse camera. Like the reverse camera. Like having three cameras. <laughs> sorry, the, re the reverse charging. You should be like like working for cameras. Huawei. I, maybe maybe <laughs> I should. Yeah. That was a yeah. pitch. You know, if you yeah. want to hire me, then let me know. Like, call me. What, what can I say? Look, first of all, thank you so much. You guys no, are thank absolutely you. amazing. Thanks thank for having you. Follow these guys. They are truly lovely people. I've spent 24 hours with them. They probably think I'm a nightmare, but I think they're really, really cool. Follow them on all the various social media platforms. Follow me as well. Uh, and follow Huawei. 
uh, check out the keynote. You can look back on all of this. Uh, the party's only just begun here in Excel, so we get, better get smart and done. Yeah. And take some great pictures. Well. Thank you to you as well for all of your Thank social you media, for getting involved uh, and making this a truly memorable launch. Goodbye oh, from London Bye. and the Thank Excel. You. Bye. The Twilight. Whoa, 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 whoa. See you later. <laughs>